So, ladies and gents, as promised, we are clocking back in. We're going to talk about how to grow your personal brand on TikTok. As you all know, TikTok is a platform that blew up in 2020 and it has made so many new stars. And the good news, it's not too late to hop on the trend. As of now, if you put in the work, if you do the right thing and be consistent with what I'm about to show you, you will grow your personal brand and become a star eventually. It's just a matter of time and consistency. The number one thing, and this is a mistake I see everybody do, you need to pick and stick to one niche. You wanna make it very clear for the algorithm that you make content about gaming, for example, and that they have to show your content to people that have an interest in gaming. If you only post random videos, the algorithm is going to show it to random people and it's going to be very difficult for you to stand out and grow on the platform. So pick a niche and if you're not sure at the beginning, just do something you're passionate about something that is going to make it easy for you to create content. And if down the line you see that it doesn't work for you and that you need to change, well, you can still do that anytime. Before we get any further, I would hugely appreciate it if you left a like on this video. It hugely helps the channel and supports me to continue this little 6 a.m. recording series. And with that being said, the second thing that I need to talk to you about is the style of videos that you can make. On TikTok, you have two types of videos. You have what I call the music based videos which is what I do so you use a sound that's currently trending that everyone's talking about and one of the great thing about that is you can hop on trends people will recognize the sound and you have to adapt your content to the music you're using so you know make sure you do the transitions on the beat and if you want to add text or additional value you're gonna have to point to little things just like I do on my videos. The second type of videos that you can make are what I call the voice-based videos, and you're basically going to be talking to the camera. For some people, this is going to be very effective because they are naturals on camera, or they can speak out loud flawlessly. So this is another option that you have. And with this option, you have the space to have a lot more impact and provide a lot more value. Both of them are good options. I would recommend that at the beginning, if you're not comfortable on the camera and this is your first time creating content, the music-based videos are actually easier to make. You don't necessarily need to show yourself on camera if that's not something you're comfortable with. And if at the beginning it can help you be consistent, I would tend to go that route. But feel free to try both and test what works for you. Okay, on to the third aspect, you need to have your signature move. Any of the top creators on the platform are known for doing one thing, and it's usually that one thing that originally made them blow up. I could cite you countless of influencers and I would know exactly what made them go viral. For me, one of my first viral videos, I was... I started the video by just drinking coffee like this and uh, that became my signature move. Now, most people know me for that. So you have to establish something of your own as well, something that's gonna make you original and unique. Again, obviously it's easier said than done. At the beginning, you're not gonna know what works for you and what's going to be your signature move, but it's all about testing, testing, posting and posting until eventually something goes viral and you're going to be known for doing exactly that. So I recommend to just try out a bunch of different things and once you find something that you are most comfortable with, make sure you keep it and make it your signature move. Number four, and this is the only thing that's actually gonna make you grow on the platform, is TikTok is a numbers game. The people that will win on the platform are the one that post multiple times a day, that post high quality content, and that post every single day. You can't post a video once a week and expect to blow up on the platform. And even if you have one video that blow up, it's gonna be one video and then you're done. What we're looking for here is to grow a personal brand and to constantly have people looking at you to build an audience, build a following, and truly establish yourself in the market. To do so, it's all about the numbers. You need to post multiple times a day. I started doing three times a day. I know that it's easier said than done, 
and there are many tips and tricks that you can do to find content ideas to constantly be on top of what you're going to be posting and be on schedule. These are things I'm going to cover in my following videos. But keep in mind that if you want to win on the platform, don't overthink the content. It's always better to post something stupid or dumb than not to post. You will also find, and I know this from experience and working with dozens of clients, is that what goes viral on the platform is never what you expect it to be. Some of the videos you're going to take hours making and think that this one is for sure going to go viral because it has all the little components. But more often than not, you're going to be very disappointed because it doesn't happen and it might be a bit discouraging. So this is one of the reasons I strongly recommend that you post, even if it's a bad video, even if you have to rush it. When you go to my channel, you will find tons of gringy videos that are rushed that I made on the first take and it didn't take the time to actually give it a good try. And that's because I want to be consistent and post three times a day. And I don't have the whole day to do that. I also have to work on the business. So I'm on schedule and uh, sometimes I don't have the time to spend more than 15 minutes on a video. So I take it on the first shot and at the end of the day, a lot of these end up being gringy. But first off, some of them go super viral to my surprise. And it's always better to be consistent and post than not to post and being absent. So if you want to know more about how you can remain consistent, find those content ideas, be on schedule and walk your way towards being an influencer, these are all things I'm going to cover in the days to come. If you guys don't remember, I'm starting this challenge Monday to Friday. I'm going to record a YouTube video at 6 a.m. So if you want to follow the journey, I would hugely appreciate for you to subscribe to Timothy Chanu on YouTube. And on that note, thank you so much for your time and I will see you in the next one. Peace.